This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So I'm reading an article here on Sky Sports where Eddie Hearn and his father Barry Hearn are both giving statements. Now Barry, he just got back from a meeting with Shelley Finkel, who is uh, one of many managers of Deontay Wilder, who he met with Shelley Finkel, or as Eddie Hearn calls him, Shelley Winkle, in New York on Friday. And he's saying that everything went pretty okay. And this is what Barry Hearn had to say. I think the bluster is gone and now we're at the stage where there are real decisions to be made in the next few days. I'm very happy to say I've done my bit. Eddie and his team will now take over as always and the last word comes from the main man himself. Wherever we go, it has to be the approval of AJ because he's the main man. So that was Barry Hearn's statement. So just going by that little bit there, we can say that both sets of fighters, both teams want the fight. Um, with the bluster is gone, so all the trash talk, all, all that up in the air, um, you know, we're not going to meet you unless you agree to this 50 million and all this kind of thing is all out the window. There is an open line of communication, so everything sounds good up to that point. Now, there's some couple of bits where Eddie Hearn says that makes me raise my eyebrow. So this is what Eddie Hearn had to say. We want to do the fight in the UK. I don't think they are too keen to do the fight in the UK, but I think they are slowly realising that without Anthony Joshua, the future is not too bright and rosy for Deontay Wilder. He wants to fight, we want the fight. Time is running out because we need to let the WBA know and Alexander Povetkin know if we're fighting them in September. At the moment, it looks like we are. I think this fight with Wilder could get agreed in the next couple of weeks. I think it will get agreed in the next couple of weeks and probably signed. It's just a case of whether that fight happens in October, November, September, or we do it in February or March next year. Either way, I do think it will get agreed. It's just a timescale thing right now. So that was Eddie Hearn's statement. Um, he was talking about like the US things and the Golovkin clashes, if it was to happen in September, that kind of thing. But there's a couple of alarming points here where he's saying that both teams want the fight, that's not really an issue. It's location, and it appears that Deontay Wilder does not want to come to the UK. Now, people will say, well, Joshua said, give me 50 million, I'll sign tomorrow. That's not give me 50 million, and I'll come to the US and do whatever you want in the contract. That's not what 50 million is. And beside that, he did say, I'm going to be staying in the UK for the next fight. He said this straight after the Parker fight. So him looking like he's gone back on his word to Deontay Wilder and all the fans who hate AJ, I don't think he's too concerned when you weigh it up with the fact that he did say next fight in the UK against Wilder. He wants undisputed on British soil. End of discussion. Now, why doesn't Deontay Wilder want to come to the UK? Now, $50 million is a lot of money to try and force a fight into America, right? And for $50 million, do you really think that they would allow Joshua to come away with the titles? I don't think so. So why is Wilder not keen on coming to the UK? He said that, you know, quite a while ago, I'm willing to go to the UK. I'll fight him for free. I'll fight him in his garden. It's not about the money. It's about legacy. All this kind of stuff. We just want the fight. Well, clearly not. Because you've been offered 12 and a half million. You didn't re even respond to it for, what, two, two and a half weeks? And then come out with this $50 million offer that was a 24-hour time period. But yet, you're being offered five, six times your highest purse. And I know I'm repeating myself here, but Anthony Joshua is not allowed to, to what, do his five, six times his purse. And it's pretty much what Eddie Hearn said right here. That Team Wilder, or... Wilder himself is slowly realising that without Anthony Joshua, the future is not too bright and rosy for Deontay Wilder. Meaning, without Joshua, you don't get paid decent money. Who are going to fight next? Brazil? We already know that's penciled in for August. So, how much are you going to get for fighting Brazil? Would you get more for fighting Brazil than you did for Luis Ortiz in your last fight, in your 40th fight, 2.1 million? Would you get more than that to fight Dominic Brazil? Maybe, but unlikely, right? Are you going to get anywhere near 12 and a half million to fight Dominic Brazil? No. Are you going to find 12 and a half million to find to fight anybody? No. Are you going to five, six times your purse to fight anybody? No. Is Joshua going to go get five, six times his purse? No, he's not. But Wilder is being offered that 
Joshua is not being offered that. So, I mean, if somebody offered Joshua five, six times his purse, it, as much as I want the legacy fight in the UK, first time undisputed on British soil, I'll be saying, Joshua, man, they're offering you five, six times your highest purse. Go to America, man. Screw legacy. Go take the money. Because $50 million for Joshua is not life-changing money. He's already got life-changing money. Any money he gets now just sits in his account and just tops up. That's all it does now. Okay, He's already got enough money to go out and buy whatever he wants. He's earning $20 million plus pounds per fight now. Against Carlos Takam, he earned £18 million. Pound. Against Joseph Parker, he earned £22 million. Pound. Against Povetkin, will he earn more than £22 million? Pound? Quite possibly, especially if it's going to go to purse bid and he gets forced to go to Russia. Again, people say, well, why is he going to go to Russia rather than go to America to fight Wilder? Why is he willing to go to America to fight Gerald Miller, but not go to America to fight Wilder? As I said before, because it's not undisputed. There's a huge difference, undisputed on British soil. So how much more money is he really going to make? So if he's making 22 million against Parker, he may make around about the same, maybe a little bit more for Povetkin, especially if it goes to Russia, because Ryabinski will bid stupid money for it, no doubt. So that could happen. And against Wilder, how much would he get to, to have this undisputed on British soil? Bearing in mind, countries across the world, including America, will be bidding to show this fight as in bidding amongst themselves between each network within their own respective countries. So how much money is he going to make? He'll probably make, what, £30 million? So it's probably only about £5 million less than what he would make to go to America and have zero say on the contract, do the complete tour whenever they want. Nothing wrong with touring and promoting it. That's how it should be, right? But he has no say on the undercard, no say on anything. So... For five million pound, even ten million pound, he doesn't need it. So the fight is in the UK. So all this fifty million dollar talk going to America, this is water under the bridge now. It's done. Wilder, why are you not coming to the UK? Why are you scared? If you're that confident of knocking him out, and you said it's not about money, it's about legacy. You're fighting for free. All you want is the fight, right? So sign for the fight. Come fight him now. Why risk it against Dominic Brazil? I believe Wilder will wipe the floor with Dominic Brazil. But you never know, do you? I believe Joshua will wipe the floor with Povetkin. But you never know, do you? I want to see Joshua versus Wilder. That's what I want to see. The only other one that I would rather see, again, from my own personal bias point of view, would be Wilder versus Dillian White. But that ain't going to happen because Dante Wilder doesn't want Dillian White. He's afraid of him. He's made that abundantly clear. So now he's afraid of Joshua, clearly. So he's gone back on all his words, but people want to say Joshua went back on his one word for 50 million, even though he'd already promised the UK fans he's going to stay in the UK for this fight. So he's not really going back on his word, is he? Wilder is. Wilder hasn't even cleaned up domestically yet. Not Miller, not Brazil, not Charles Martin, not Andy Ruiz Jr. The only one that he has beaten is Eric Molina. What about the rest of them? Cherry picking. He's afraid, is what he is. He's afraid to come to the UK. Maybe because of all the slanderous things that he said about the UK. Maybe. Maybe that's one of the reasons that maybe he feels he won't be welcome. But he will be welcome. Because you've given us a fight. All this will be forgotten in the midst of this fight. And if you win, then you win. Congratulations. You take the belt back to America. You have a rematch. Earn even more money. But again, it's not about money, it's about legacy, right? So take the damn fight, what's, what's the problem? And people say that Joshua should travel. Well, Joshua's only had five defences of his title and unified twice and fought a mandatory and fought an all-time great in Vladimir Klitschko, which of course was for one of those unifications. Has Wilder had any unifications in his seven defences compared to Joshua's five? No. Has Wilder travelled outside America as champion? No. So what's the problem? Why are people saying Joshua should travel? Why isn't Wilder travelling? Joshua isn't getting paid five, six times his purse. Wilder is. It seems to me Wilder don't want the fight. He really does. He's coming across as a little bit of a coward. Going back on his word. Remember, it's about legacy, not about money. You're fighting for free. Remember this. Plus many other things I could throw at it. All I want is a damn fight. 
give us the fight, sign a damn contract, come over. I'm not saying that you should allow yourself to be screwed. I'm not saying that you should definitely accept 12.5 million. You should because of the amount of money that it is compared to what you usually make. Because you need Joshua to make this huge money. Joshua doesn't need you to make that kind of money. Big difference. So, yeah, maybe try and get a bit more money. Try and get 15 million. Hell, ask for 20 million. Maybe you'll get it. Either way, sort it out. How long does it take? Stop stalling. If you want Brazil, come out and say you want Brazil. If you want to fight Joshua after Brazil, fine, just tell Eddie Hearn. That's what I want. I want to fight Dominic Brazil in August, and then I want to fight Joshua in December, whenever. At least we know when the fight's going to happen. Because right now, if you just accept fighting Dominic Brazil, and we're still going to be hanging. Like, okay, is this fight ever going to happen? Just agree to fight later in the year then. If you don't want it right now, and you really want to get this whole Dominant Brazil situation washed up and out of the way because of the history you guys have, fine, just tell people about it. Just stop lying. Stop stalling. You ain't going to make this kind of money anywhere else. Anywhere else. So stop being afraid, because quite clearly you're afraid to come to the UK. You're not a real world champion. Joshua is. Joshua has unified. You haven't. Stop messing about. Sign a contract. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.